Well, that ain't a thumbnail. I don't know what it is. Skadoosh, Joey Moss, bad boy gaming. Yeah, so, um, a whole lot going on here. Yeah, the dinosaurs are here because uh, of Jurassic World uh, Dominion. I really want to take my son to go watch it. Uh, but he's only two years old. He's about to be three. But uh, I think it's a little too soon for him to see crazy, scary, real, real-like looking dinosaurs, you know? So I might hold off a little bit on the movie, maybe wait a couple years, you know, and then go ahead and do it. But I have been buying him these crazy dinosaurs, like every single one I can find from Jurassic World uh, Dominion, uh, the newest movie. If you guys have seen it, let me know. And let me know if you think it's appropriate for an almost three-year-old to go and see that movie. I'm just curious. Let's take a poll here. But in the meantime, this is all Joey right here, baby. My own personal. Here we go. Got a pack of revised for was it two about two seventy five. Uh, purchased on uh, eBay from it appeared to be a reputable seller. The guy's selling off all of his collection, uh, and he's got some older stuff uh, for darn freaking sure, man. And I thought uh, I had I had no choice but to check it out, you know. Um, good prices, you know. So I'm like, sure, why not? Exodus pack, seventy six bucks. Uh, it set me back. I got hosed really bad at this local game store, uh, Kid Force. Um, not gonna say anything bad about them, you know, but uh, I was a little, I felt some things were a little sus when I opened up uh, some Exodus packs there. Um, they're a bit pricey, like 120 you know, or like 100 bucks, but you're paying like you know the price in the shop and supporting a local game store. But again, I'm a little sus about that game store. Not gonna say anything else. Here, are you guys ready? Are you ready to do this? We got three foil promo packs, these ones could have them big lottery hits in them which could contain like a $100 freaking card. Pretty juicy. We will see what we pull. Are you guys ready to do this? Let's get into cracking, capping. Which one to do first? Let's start with the new Capenna. Uh, also, I got fan mail. Oh yes, fan mail from three individuals. I'm gonna crack that open too. So let's go. Let's go, let's dive right in. Hope everyone's having a fantastic weekend. Uh, about to be going to a carnival here in a little bit uh, with my son again. I already went to one last week. Gonna go to another one with him this week. Can't get enough of it. Here we go. Corpse Explosion. It's always explosion, baby. Gotta love the little foil promos on there. A the little signal. Yeah, Mappa Chumbo. The symbol. Mm hmm. Courier's Briefcase. Okay, so far we're getting pounded. Big hit. Come on. <sighs> Reign of Riches. I'm gonna like Reign of Riches. Uh, lovely art, though. Holy crap, do I like that. Wonderful dragon artwork. Very, very cool. Not worth a darn. There's a promo card for you cool kids out there. All right. Let's do the second new Capenna. I'm hoping to hit something big. Does anyone else go out and like fiend for the promo packs? It's like the one thing like I always, always get, man. Mysterious Limousine, pretty sweet. Beautiful shiny foil. Double Masters right around the corner. Double Masters 2022. We're gonna be cracking open like 50 boxes on the channel. It's gonna be insanity. Patrons, look this weekend. I'm gonna be announcing uh, uh, the breaks for the Double Masters stuff. Keep your eyes peeled, baby. Mysterious Limousine, there we go. Followed by Rumor Gatherer. Man, something about that art. Beautiful. This pops lovely. So far getting pounded. And the Mezio Mugger. Oh, man. We got taken to Pound Town. Oh, kicked right in our friggin' burrito. All right. There you go. The old Mugger. And another one of these code cards. Get yourself a free pack. On. <laughs> Not slick, dude. <laughs> totally missed that. On, Joey. I quit. I'm done. It's unbelievable. <laughs> not only did I miss it once, I missed it twice. Oh my like, yeah, we're not, we're not, you know, three times a charm they say, but we're not even going there. We're not even going there. Our, our third promo back. Um, yeah, is anyone else seen for these like me? Uh, I always get them every uh, every release for my personal open, my personal openings, and um, I love them, man. And in, in, incriminates. I'm gonna say, I don't know why I want to say incriminate there. Incriminates here. Ooh, nice little promo there. Uh, Luxor Gattles gift. Got him. Okay, wonderful. I think that's a nice hit. I'm not sure how much money, but we'll take it. These weren't too bad. They were like $18, and I got a bunch more coming. I got like four or five more I purchased as well, so pretty excited about that. Only two cards in that pack? What? That's Wedding's horse shit. Uh, what? Wait, wait, what? Huh? What? I'm supposed to get free. Oh, at least we got a... 
At least we got that. Yeah, the, the, the top card was missing. <laughs> the top card was missing because it goes like the rare Mario or, or Mythic and then it goes into these. I didn't realize that was in here. What the heck's going on, man? I don't know. Not sure what to make of that, my friends. Uh, something just happened, though. We just got uh, we just got hosed. All right. Let's get into the Exodus Pack. 76 big ones. Can I get any value back? Probably not. Let's get a look at the packaging. This is old school stuff, man. I, I started playing when this set dropped. Right around this time, give or take, uh, you know, a year or so. What's the date on this puppy? 1998? Yeah, I was playing a little earlier than 1998. More like 97, 96, I think I started. Let's go. Nin yeah, 96. Maybe even 95. Oh, my goodness. All right. Core. Core boy. We got the core champ. Good old Dothy. Come on, give us something good. Avenging Druid. Man, these, uh... The, the older cards, they're, they were the color was more saturated. You know, like if you look around the blue right there, like it's just very saturated. It comes in really nice, you know. Not all of them, but, you know, there was a, a, nice, uh, a nice run where um, the sets were very saturated. And uh, I loved it just because they pop so brilliantly. Keeper of the Light is our first uncommon. We'll take it. Let's see what else we get. Dothy Cutthroat, fun card to play with. I ran it many times. Destroy target creature with shadow. Can you imagine sideboarding that today in modern? That just wouldn't really work well. It's not legal in modern. All right, moving forward. We got ourselves Spike Cannibal. Cannibals eating cannibals. Well, if we can hump the animals and antelopes, and there's a reason that a man and another man can't elope. Well, if you feel like I feel, I got the antidote. We've been waiting to pan the old thing that goes, and it goes. I was doing some Eminem karaoke this weekend. Sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. I sang Real Slim Shady, and uh, I sang um, Forgot About Trey. Very good stuff. Oh, it's a card. We're going to call it Ephem. Sick art, though. Like, for real, that's pretty sick. Flying, choose and discard a card. Return Ephemerin to owner's hand. Ephemerin? Ephemerin. It just sounds weird. All right. Uh, angelic Blessing in the back there. Scare Tactics. Elvis Berserker. Aether Tide. And Cinder Crawler. That one hurt. Now, I do have really good luck buying random single packs off eBay or uh, of Revised or off whatever. You know, this pack does seem legit. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty legit. I usually have really good luck with these. So we will see just how good my luck is today. Hot dogs. Ooh. Get a load of that old feel, baby. That nice old feel. Unsummoned starting things off. Shwink. And we got Mr. Wall of Wood. This is a $275 pack, guys. Not cheap. Cir Circle of Protection Blue. Very cool. Where's your gloves at? Shut your pie hole. Fireball. 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 Anybody? Okay. Island Boy. Ooh, Forest. I'm going to slow my roll here because we're going to hit that rare pretty soon. Plains. Some of these packs can have, like, I think upwards of seven lands, which is just ridiculous. Uh, mountain. But that's how they distributed the lands back then. Uh, we got one, two, three. Okay, we're still good. Shwink. The old sea serpent. Yes, yes, yes. Shwink. We're giant growth. That's what all the ex-girlfriends say. They're like, you could use one of those pills, you know? I'm like, oh, God. All right, followed by, who? another mountain. Another mountain. Nobody cares. All right, we got one, two, three, four cards here. So that's our rare right here. This would be our, our first uncommon as a Plains. Second uncommon would be a Scavenging Ghoul. That's true. Ah, crumble. Come on. Come on. Give me some of that juicy. Oh, I did want this, though. That's cool. That's a Sorceress Queen. Um, Gem Mint. Pack fresh. Yeah. Centering's a tiny, tiny bit off. A little more gappy on the right than the left. But other than that, I mean, yeah, pretty good. Oh, mm -mm. a little edge right there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, I, w I won't even send this into grading at best in a, up here as well. Uh, at best, it'd get like probably a BGS 8, you know, at, at best, at best, in my opinion. Maybe 8.5. Um, but there you go. I always wanted a Sorceress Queen. Have not had one except for way back in the day. Now I got one, man. No joke. I always wanted one, so that's cool. All right. I'm, I was pumped about that. I know, guys. You ready? Do some fan mail. This one's coming from uh, Jimmy Lou. Mana Leak MTG. 
I'm just gonna crack it off camera, but here's it's, there you go. Okay, I'll show you what it is. Okay, okay. Well, what do we got going on here? What do we got going on here? Hi from a fellow <laughs> Scadoosh. Hi from a fellow Scadoosh bag fan subscriber of your channel. So when I was so when I saw who ordered this, I just had to double check. Oh wait, this is something I ordered. Hope you like your busted, totally first printing card. Are you serious? What what do we got here? What 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 what? What? I ordered this? I ordered I what is this? Hold on. Seriously? I ordered it went to my P.O. box though. How is this even possible? Oh my god. What is this? Tap, sacrifice, evolve it wild, and search your library for a basic land card. Put on a bit of your tap, then shuffle your library. Wow. Bob Ross couldn't have said it any better. Holy smother and tithe, man. That's a hot, hot card right there. Uh, this thing's busted. This is busted. Um, I've never seen this before. So, first printing, clearly. Um, it looks like it came out of a secret lair. Uh, okay. We will take that. That is friggin' dope. Thanks a billion, homie, for sending that out to me. I appreciate that. That is... It's going to pay off the mortgage, guys. Thank you. We got Nicholas. Nicholas on deck. Nicholas, Nicholas, Nicholas. The dress is on the back side. I'm not going to flip it over or tape over. I used to do that, but I'm like, who the heck cares? That's just a waste of time. All right, Nicholas, thank you for sending this out, man. Let's see what's up inside of this piece. Come on, slip inside. Ooh, we got some stuff. What? Oh, my God. This one must be an error. Look at that. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, that should have a secret layer symbol. That's pretty nuts. All right, we'll take it. Let's see what else we get in. Hey, Joey Moss. How are you doing? I've sent you something in the wild. The package, LOL. That may be fruitful for you. I hope you enjoy Mr. Bubbles. P.S. Loving the content. That, I can have this. Thank you, man. Thank you. This goes a long way. You have no idea. I gotta, I gotta make a video soon. You guys are gonna die. Uh, Evolving Wilds. Bada bang. Looks like uh, a big old thick stack of the best card known to man. Thing is busted to be all belief. And he uh, even sleeved every single one of them up. Is that not hot if it's there? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Wow. That's my favorite Planeswalker. So people either send me Evolving Wilds. Or they send me Urza Lord Hardificer. Or they do both like this crazy SOB. Wow, dude. Nicholas, man. Or I'm sorry, Mr. Bubbles. Mr. Bubbles, we'll call you. Mr. Bubbles, <laughs> thank you so much, man. This is uh, really cool. I do have a little collection going of Urza Lord Hardificer. I don't think I have the foil etch one, though. I might. I don't think I do. I don't, I'm, I don't know. I'm not certain. But I'll take this as a happy birthday, Joey. Thank you, my dude. Means a freaking ton. I know I have a playset of the other... Uh, I have a place of the foil, the regular foil version, um, and then I have a place of the uh, other regular version, um, non-foil, but I don't, I don't think I have the edge foil yet. So that's something, uh, I don't know, I might pick one up. We'll see what happens. Thank you so much for sending that out, brother. Mr. Bubbles. These bubbles are fun. This is from MW. So all it says is MW. All right. Let's see what Mr. MW sent. MW. Let's roll with it. <laughs> oh, something fell. Something fell. Oh, no. Oh, I cut it in the worst way. Oh, what is that? That's something fun looking. Hold on, hold on, baby. Okay. Oh, we got a date year. Whoa! Sorry. He, I know he did that on purpose. He's like, this bastard ain't gonna read this shit forever. Uh, here we go. Oh, I got some... Oh, wait, no, 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 hold on. Nope, okay, not sure how we're going to do this. Uh, all right, so it says, Dear Joey, I present to you the most beautiful flower of the Coco Bongo. This is now the most valuable thing you own. Keep it safe. Best regards, Mark. This came from the Coco Bongo, guys. Are you ready for this? Avenging angel in all of her glory 
Oh, that is hot. Yeah, you got that, tri that triple sleeved, bro. <laughs> you got it sleeved once here. Wait, no, no, it's double sleeved just, right? Yeah, you did it right. Double sleeved. I of course you would do it right. wouldn't assume you would do it wrong. Oh, that's a nice little tight fit on a tight fit. But there's no reason for me to even open that. Avenging freaking angel. Dude, thank you, thank you. I believe it's reserve list. Uh, one card I, I did want. So there you go. Flying, if avenging angel is put into any graveyard from play, you may put avenging angel into that forge library. 3-3. Three, three. Uh, very cool kick-ass card, man. When angels got a little hot, this thing warmed up too. Very nice. Holy crap. Um, between Bob Ross, uh, Mr. Uh, Urza, and uh, Avenger over here. I mean, holy crap. Um, guys, thank you a billion um, for sending all that stuff out. Didn't have to do that. It does mean a lot to me. I appreciate it. And check this out. This is just two more. Um, two, more two more little dinos I got for him. There's a T-Rex. These things are pretty big. You, you wouldn't believe it, man. They make noises, too. Hey, do something. Oh, I, I got tip like... There you go. Oh, scary. Okay. And then you got this over here, too. I like the little figures uh, that it comes with. I think that's pretty neat. Uh, anyone seen the movie? Let me know your opinion on it, uh, your feedback on it. Look how big that thing is. <laughs> Look at this kid. Yeah. Huge, man. Flip it upside down. Whoa, daddy-o. <laughs> Yeah, Jax is going to have a freaking blast with that. All right, guys. Thank you a billion for tuning in. Uh, I'm Joy Moss, Bad Boy Gaming. Get out of here, Scotty.